to begin. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the spooky bones round. I am your uh, one of your ghost co-hosts, John Spooky Wara J. Uh, wait a minute, I think we played this game already, didn't we? Yes, we did, John. And um, the last wait. time it happened, uh, it was pretty. Um, it was it was pretty horrible as a playthrough because we got stuck, and we were tired and sweepy. Yeah. And you so, were cheating. Yeah, that's right, because we had rookie mode. Um, yeah, so, what what I actually meant was we... There's already a playthrough of this up on Spooky Bones Round right now, and it's the playthrough of Resident Evil 2, the remake with Claire. But now, I'm playing with you instead. You're in control, and you're playing as Leon. Yes, I am. And uh, we decided that we would do this... Uh, this playthrough of the remaster. Or the, the remake, but yes. Um, because we thought about doing going back to the original, but when they announced the remake, they said, nah, fuck it, let's wait for this. Yeah, and this looks a hell of a lot better. So, um, let shall we get into it? Yeah, let, let me do uh, this again. Me, me and Austin right. already finished Claire A, so let's, let's start Leon A. All right, so let's get to it. Oh yeah, that's right. You let you left on the music and sound effects from PS One, so this will this will be how we can even very much separate our playthroughs. <laughs> you can change it to ninety eight. Uh, <laughs> he literally no. looks like a paper craft. <laughs> so we could so we could either go that route or uh, or we go like noir outfit or the arc light or just the normal. I'll tell you what. For our first run, let's do the normal. Because uh, we're, we're gonna do, we have to do the B run. So with the B run, we can do whatever we want. I think because because the game's largely gonna be the same except for the final boss. So for difference's sake, we'll change it then. But for the first run, let's, yeah, let's just go normal. I guess. Yeah, okay. we can get we can get crazy in our second run. Yeah, especially because um, <laughs> especially because I think that's how you unlock the alternate. Like you go through the game yeah. once, and then you get the alternate for the B runs. Yeah, so, so the plan um, the plan right now is me and Austin just did Claire A, you and I are about to do Leon B, and then when we go to do our we're B's... Doing Leon, we're doing Leon A. Yep, what they, we're doing Leon A right now, and then we get Claire B from unlocking Leon A, so then you, me, and Austin will swap, because that's what we get. Right. All right, so, so new then, game. Uh, then, then in those playthroughs, we'll mess around. All right, new game, so Leon. Um... So, what now? What mode did you guys play on? Standard. Alright. Yeah, it's all the standard. All right. <laughs> Time to get a scale one again. Well, but the funny thing is, is that not it's not going to be really scary for me because, well, I played through it already when it first came out. Oh, that burger still as gross as the before. Yeah. Look at that gross ass burger tech. Mmm. Man, they did such a great job. And so, as as is appropriate, unfortunately, I have to be drinking my very last Resident Evil G Fuel, <laughs> which is also my favorite flavor, the Nemesis wow. T type. T as in T, not the letter. Okay, so it largely starts up the same way, but...
Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I would turn around, that's what I would do. Miz oil. Man, the fucking detail. Jesus. Oh yeah. Going around. Like one of my favorite details is like when you shoot the zombies, uh, the flesh will actually tear where you shoot. So like if you shoot them in like the muscles that hold the jaw up, you'll actually shoot that muscle off and their jaw will come unhinged. And like holes in cheeks and stuff like that. <laughs> holes in cheeks. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm serious. I like I like when I was trying to do go for headshots, I'd shoot them in the cheek and just blow a hole in there. Oh, I thought you said holding cheeks. I was like, whose cheeks are you holding? <laughs> Today's episode title, everybody. <laughs> who, oh, who you? Whose cheeks you holding? Not theirs. I want none to do with that. Because if I'm holding them cheeks, I'm one. Uh, I'm one second away from. <laughs> and not the good kind. Hello. Anybody there? Something's not right. Oh, right. I was gonna say, check the freezer. Don't move. I'll be back for you. On oh, the sound design is really good too, because like every sound just has you on edge. Stop moving, officer. You need help. Stay back, sir. I got this. No, you do not! Hey, yikes! That's still gross! <laughs> Freeze! I'll shoot! Son of a bitch! Oh good, they, they still trash talk when they shoot. And there's a key back here. Mm-hmm. Oh good, you found you found it faster than we did. Well then again, you did say you played this through already. Yes, I did. And there's a pizza. Cigarettes. I wouldn't call that a winning combination, but hey, it was the nineties. <laughs> no oh shit! This can't be. That's right. That's right. I forgot. That's that's not how it is now. Even like the clinking of the glasses is just frightening. He's like, I'm locking you in. You're gonna bite me. Where's the door? There it is. Oh yeah, that's right. He locked the door, so we gotta use this one. Shit. Oh, ah, shit. Ah, 
god! Oh, I think this is part of the story, is it? I don't know. Nope. No. Oh. You guys sell stamps? Found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Of course, Umbrella Corporation, you're fucking up again. Mm hmm. Well, th this was their original fuck up. Well, one of them. Oh, it even has a different opening uh, theme, too. It had like that, that new song, but if you switch to the PS1 ones, you hear this. Yeah, which I obviously got the PS1 content. Yeah, I did too, but I, want, I wanted to go in uh, how they originally intended it. But for when we when he and I do uh, Leon B, we'll probably play around. Love that the R and E is in red to denote it's a remake. Yeah. R E to make. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what people call it for shorthand. R E to make. You were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone who needs God, this is so unreal. And if history is any guide, the people will say that it doesn't actually exist and ignore the yeah, safety yeah. guidelines. What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. After all, we can't fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. All those people is like, I ain't getting the vaccine. It's like, ah, I, don't bite me. It'll be fine. Walking from here. It's just like a dog bite. <laughs> More like a raccoon bite with rabies. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, that's right, he got bit and then started driving. And I like how they altered the, um, the story a bit. Yeah, because I remember when the story starts, you end, you like, you start when you go into Raccoon City, that truck's already been uh, blown up and separated you from Claire. But uh, here, they show you how that happened. 
Well, no, like, what, the way it happened in the original was they got out of the... They got out of the police car. Then the, um... Then the truck, like, actually barrels over the police car. Claire. Mm. Claire, um, okay? Like, crushing the police car. Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, it's coming back to me now that you need to bring it up. Yeah. Lie, yeah, some of the zombies. Lie. Is that fucking a uh, zombie or Dr. Roxo, the rock, rock and roll clown? Like I said, so it doesn't change the zombie voices because they they were the exact same. There it is. The station. Out of bullets, so. Oh, we'll, we'll pick some up later. Hello? Is anybody here? And if anything has taught me anything, save now. Yep. That won't always help you now, though. What do you mean? Because, um, you can save in here, but Mr. X chases you in here. Look at that 90s-ass computer. There has to be someone here. I think it was that way. Yeah, it is. Okay, so if you've played this before, we might not need a guy, but I'll keep it handy no, so just keep in case. It, keep it in hand. Okay. I have it up still. Alright, so. I'll definitely keep it for the puzzle solutions. Yeah. What was the name of the soda on the vending machine? I keep forgetting the, what the brand was. Uh, this, this game's uh, brought to you by uh, Cold Drinks. Yeah. So Cold Drinks, if you're listening. Wait, that's not even a sponsor. What the hell? <laughs> it is in the Raccoon City. Well, they're probably not listening now. They're they're uh, 
Their um hot, their hotline's probably flooded with uh distress calls. Assuming they're alive. More bullets. Here, no. Anything over here, no. Alright, so. Yeah, that's probably bring switch. Doesn't help much because it's so dim in here. There's no notes on the desk. Can't get through the door. Yeah, let me just check and make sure there's nothing else we need in here. I don't think there is. <sighs> oh, there's a first aid spray by the bathrooms. The one that's not boarded up. Ew. I think it's on the toilet. Not not that one, the other one. Yeah, there it is. Someone had a good time. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm. Sh I'm sure none of the, the person that had a good time was not uh living. Yeah, you're gonna need the bolt cutters for that. You don't. You're not gonna have those for a while. Open up. Uh. Hurry. Open up. Open this goddamn door. All right. All right. Open the fucking horses. Get you out! Please! Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Ooh. Officer, it's no fun. Way up to the parking garage. Mm -hmm. Got the three for the goddess statue. Got to put three statues at the goddess. Remember when we spent like 10 episodes trying to solve that? Yeah. I mean, we won't be doing that this time. Yeah, I think that I think that just never opens again, or it does. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I was wondering what the hell that was. Thought there was extra bullets. Um, I will stop. Yeah, you got a bigger problem. What the hell? Oh, 
There's more ammo in uh, the supply closet. But I think you gotta take out these guys first. Yeah, and I'm out of ammo. I could Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Ah, uh, he did switch into his RPG stuff. Oh yeah. I was wondering when the hell that actual thing was gonna yeah, kick in. Yeah, okay, Lieutenant, I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. He thought this secret passageway might be the trick. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not. The yeah, too bad he ain't half the man he once was. I'm leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. Can't take. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not. You do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Got <laughs> uh. a knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife will wear is down with use and will break once the gauge is depleted. It can be used to counterattack when you are caught by an enemy. It can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Mm hmm. Okay, and then. So need more ammo. Yeah, there was there was ammo in that uh in the supply closet in that hall, but it's too late now. And I will find others. Well, do you want to call it here for the uh, episode today? Yeah, let's do that. So that way. We... But, but, yeah, especially since the save points right there. So next time on this spooky bones round, our second playthrough of Resident Evil begins. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Happy Halloween. See ya.